Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the values of u and v that satisfy these two equations simultaneously. Now, to solve this problem, we are going to start with a very simple expansion. Here we have u plus v squared. Now, remember that to expand this, we have u squared plus 2 times u times v, that is 2uv, plus v squared. Now, notice that if we subtract 2uv from both sides of this equation, we have that u plus v squared minus 2uv is equal to u squared plus v squared. So what we are going to do is that we are going to replace u squared plus v squared in the second equation with u plus v squared minus 2uv. So when we do this replacement, the second equation now becomes u plus v squared minus 2uv plus uv is equal to 741. Now, minus 2uv plus uv is equal to minus uv. So this left-hand side is going to be u plus v squared minus uv is equal to 741. And of course, we can write this uv as the square root of u v squared because of course the square is going to take care of the square root leaving us with uv and this is still equal to 741. Now notice that we have the difference of two squares and remember that to factorize the difference of two squares that is when we have something like a squared minus b squared this is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b so to factorize the left hand side of this equation we have u plus v minus root u v multiplied by u plus v plus root u v and of course this is still equal to 741 now, when you look at the left-hand side of this equation, you will notice that this equation is the first equation. And this, according to the first equation, is equal to 39. So, when we divide both sides of this equation by 39, we have that this, that is u plus v minus root u v is equal to 741 over 39, which is equal to 19. So now you can see that we have that u plus v minus root uv is equal to 19, while u plus v plus root uv is equal to 39. Now what we are going to do is that we are going to subtract this equation from this equation. Let me write them out. Here we have u plus v plus root uv is equal to 39. And here we have u plus v minus root uv is equal to 19. Now, if we subtract this equation from this equation, we have u minus u, which is 0. v minus v, which is also 0. Then we have root uv minus minus root uv and of course that is going to be equal to 2 root uv then we have 39 minus 19 which is equal to 20. now if we divide both sides of this equation by 2 we have that the square root of uv is equal to And of course, if we square both sides of this equation, we have that uv is equal to 10 squared. 
which of course is equal to 100. Now that we have a value for u times v, let us go back to this first equation. We have that u plus v plus root uv is equal to 39. That is u plus v plus root uv, root uv. And this is equal to 39. Now, when we subtract 10 from both sides of the equation, we have that u plus v is equal to 39 minus 10, which is equal to 29. So notice that now we have that u plus v is equal to 29 and u times v is equal to 100. Now you can see that we have reduced this system of equation to a much simpler system that is u plus v is equal to 29 and uv is equal to 100. Now there's a very simple way of solving this system of equations. Remember that the quadratic equation has the form x squared minus sum of root times x plus product of roots is equal to zero. So if we form a quadratic equation with sum of roots 29 and product of roots 100, then the roots of that quadratic equation is going to be u and v. So that is exactly what we are going to do. So here we have x squared minus 29x plus 100 is equal to 0. Now we can factorize this equation. All we have to do is to find the factors of 100 that add up to 29. And those are going to be 25 minus 25 and minus 4. Because minus 25 times minus 4 is equal to 100. While 25, or rather minus 25 plus minus 4 is equal to minus 29. So here we have x minus 4 multiplied by x minus 25 is equal to 0. And of course, you know that from here we have that either x minus 4 is equal to 0 or x minus 25 is equal to 0. Now, when we add 4, to both sides of this equation, we have that x is equal to 4. And when we add 25 to both sides of this equation, we have that x is equal to 25. So now we have found the two roots of the quadratic equation, 4 and 25. This simply means that when u is equal to 4, v is equal to 25. And when u is equal to 25, v is equal to 4. So we have two values of u and v that satisfy this system of nonlinear equations. The first one is 4 and 25, and the second one is 25 and 4. Now to check our answer, in the first equation, Substituting this, we have 4 plus 25 plus square root of uv is 10. 25 plus 10 is 35 plus 4, 39. That is what we have. Then we have 4 squared, which is 16, plus 25 squared, which is 625, plus uv. uv is 100. Now, 625 plus 16, 11, 1, 4, 6, plus 100. This is 741, which is exactly what we have on the right hand side. Now, you know that if we substitute this second value into this equation, because of symmetry, we are going to get exactly the same thing. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.